All right, y'all, I'm back with another word. I know that y'all are used to seeing me on video, and I will be back on video, but for now, I'm recording this word by audio. All right, and so yesterday, God was talking to me about peace, okay, and he was speaking to me about peace today as well, and he was just talking about godly peace versus worldly peace, all right, and so these are the things that he gave me to give to y'all, okay, so he was saying, Godly peace brings you comfort in the midst of the storm. Worldly peace says it's all going to be okay, but has no direction in how. Godly peace says all things work together for the good of those who are called according to his purpose, and he shows you how. Worldly peace gives you a fake sense of comfort, but godly peace is your comfort. Godly peace allows you to be content in whatever situation you are in. You have joy in the midst of darkness. People wonder how you are smiling during the pain. They can't even believe it because they don't have the godly peace. The worldly peace doesn't allow you to be content in trials and tribulations. It causes you to look for things and people to distract you so that you can feel a sense of peace for a moment of time. Godly peace is forever, but worldly peace is temporary. All right, and so the scripture that he led me to was John 14 and 27, and it says, I am leaving you with a gift, peace of mind and heart, and the peace I give is a gift the world cannot give, so don't be troubled or afraid. All right, and so this is a message that he wanted to release to you guys today, so whatever you guys are going through, seek God and ask for that comfort and that peace that only God can give you, okay? Worldly peace is temporary, but God's peace is forever. Okay, so that is it for this word, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.